Chuck. Yeah. So, do they have July 4th in England? I mean, they the date, yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> that was a brain teaser that I <laughs> encountered when I was a kid. You know, is there a July 4th? Of course there is. They just don't celebrate it, all right? right. So, let me tell you how badass the American colonists were, okay. if I may. All right. Okay? I'd like to hear it. We signed this document mm -hmm. called the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. And it is the statement that we are independent of England, but it is not yet achieved. It's not yet attained. Uh -huh. We have to fight a war. Right. Okay? And so the war comes to an end. And we create a, the, the Constitution, and the Constitution gets ratified. We elect the first president. Normally, that's when people date the birth of their country. Right. And that was 13 years later. Right. But the colonists and we say, we were born the day we say we were born. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's some OG stuff right there. Yeah, I gotta give it to you. That's uh, that's pretty gangster. Every other country, when they achieve yeah. their independence, it's celebrated on the date that something was ratified, yeah. something was agreed upon, or some victory was won. Right. That's, None that's, of that was going on on July Fourth. That's like you so, go to the obstetrician, you know, and uh, the doctor's like, uh, "I think we're going to induce labor on the 15th. and then from inside the womb, you hear, "Yeah, that doesn't work for me." <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, man. Yeah, I'm kind of busy on the 15th. <laughs> oh, let me check my schedule. Exactly. <laughs> so, so here's some interesting things. So we can ask, well, why is it celebrated with fireworks? Uh, we, you know, Chinese invented fireworks, right? Okay. By the way, I don't know how long the United States has been invoking fireworks to celebrate the fourth, but once we adopted the Star Spangled Banner, right, as the national anthem, yeah, the that is a description of fireworks, except it's war, all right, bombs bursting in midair, right, gay proof through the night that the flag was still there, and rampart, you know, just the words and the 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 anthemic uh, 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 musical dimension to it, it's all. It's all fireworks. And right. so, 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 and so, by the way, what it says is the Star Spangled Banner is a commemoration of war. Right. Like all of America. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love that. Wait, wait. No, Martin Luther King Day, that's a peace day, I think. We gotta uh -huh. think of that as a peace day. It, it, I will think of that as a peace day, but I will also think of it as a, uh, a war on racism. Okay. What a, a war that had to be one that shouldn't have needed to have been fought in the first place. Right. Okay. You know. There you go. But there's, no, no, still, there's, another... there's still a struggle involved. Okay. Well, there's another war day, which I forgot to mention. It's Thanksgiving. That's where families fight. <laughs> Quintessential American war day. <laughs> That's war day. <laughs> you know, your Republican uncle comes in with right. your, with, you know. Right, with your super liberal, uh, you know, <laughs> aunt from the other side of the family. And, of course, yeah. your your woke cousin has to right. sit down at the table. And then you you all square off and you, 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 you put out your opposing views and you argue and you look like you're going to kill each other. And then you show that you trust each other by eating food with the other people who clearly could have poisoned you by poisoned now. Poisoned you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we know we still family. Have some more of this slice of pie. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so, so fireworks are fascinating because th we like them, of course, for several reasons. One, they make a, a an explosion, exploding sound. By the way, they're in a very serious, there's a PTSD aspect of this. There are certain veterans that cannot hang around uh, fireworks displays mm -hmm. because of the explosions and what that triggers within them. So it is indeed uh, a commemoration of war, as any veteran with PTSD from explosions will tell you. So that's a first sort of side fact. But the so you have explosions, and an explosion is the physics of an explosion. It is 
very high temperature achieved very quickly in a small volume of air. Interesting. And what happens when you heat air? It expands. It expands, okay? Normally, the answer to that is, oh, hot air rises. Well, why does it rise? Because it expands and becomes less dense, and then it rides and floats on the more dense air. So to, to say that it rises implicitly admits that it expanded, except okay. the hot air that's gently heated expands gently, and so there's nothing catastrophic going on there. Right. But if you have rapidly heated air in a small volume, it will create an acoustic, so the air will expand as fast or faster than sound can move through it. Oh. Yes, yes, and Ooh. that makes a shock wave. So, oh my goodness. So th it starts off as a silent event. Well, yeah, the, the heat, the initial heating of the air, nothing's happened yet. Right. The air right. has to expand as fast or faster than the speed of sound in the air, and then you get a shock wave. Point is, in fireworks, you want to hear the explosion. And so everything that is a pop or the concussive uh, sound uh -huh. is air heating, getting heated faster than sound can move through it. So let's start there. So that's where you get the sounds, all right? So then... You get the colors. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, well. So pretty. Okay. So if God didn't want us to have fireworks, He wouldn't have given us all these beautiful chemicals on the periodic table. Yes. Okay. Because all these chemicals have electrons in their outer shells, and if you move electrons up and down among those shells, they will give you specific wavelengths of light. Right. Okay. And you find the elements where when you do this, you get an orange or green or a yellow or a blue. And then you package them in such a way that they become excited. And then when they de-excite, they give you this light. It's a beautiful thing. It's, nice. it's beautiful. Now, in addition, you can actually just burn something up there. And do you know the the coolest of glowing burning things is red hot red That's hot the, is, is the, the coolest okay of burning things uh, yeah so when i see red hot chili pepper or something i'm saying you got some hotter stuff than that <laughs> i say to myself astrophysically yeah. if you heat it to a higher temperature it begins to glow white hot gotcha and heat it even higher it'll glow blue hot uh -huh. as welders know the arc, the the uh, the welding arc, yeah. it's not red. It's, no, it's blue. It's, it's, it's blue. Yeah, that's that puppy's blue. And yeah. at that blue point, it's also giving you ultraviolet light, which is bad for your eyes. So they've got the the welders' helmets. I mean, visors. They know this. Welders' glass. Welders' glass. Exactly. Only the way, thing that you can use outside of the approved uh, visual aids to look at an eclipse. A welders total solar glass. eclipse. Oh, check. A plus for Chuck. No, uh, gold star, Chuck. You can put a gold star on the wall <laughs> right now. I was going to say that. And Chuck like just led, led the party. Oh, by the way, then you have little sparkly things that burn and take time to burn out. Yes. Okay? Now, if you might have played with magnesium in, in, in high school chemistry. Of course. We, we, had these, we had these magnesium strips. Strips. It's the best yeah. thing in the world to set best those suckers thing. on fire. Are you and the Bunsen burner? Oh, yes. my gosh. Oh, by the way, what's the hottest part of the Bunsen burner? Uh, wait. Well, it's got to be the blue part. <laughs> it's the blue part. Right down in the middle, there's a little right. sort At of the oval. Tiniest, the you go to the tiny, the tip of that oval is the hottest Which part. Which is where, by the way, you had to stick the strip. This is my point, okay? <laughs> if you're heating things, anything you want to heat up, you're going to go to the blue part, part of that flame. Okay, that's nice. the hottest part of the flame. All right. And, and by the way, if you had mixed in too much oxygen or too I forgot which way that goes, the flame just ends up yellow. Yeah. Right? And with a Bunsen burner, you can adjust the oxygen mixture, almost like it's got its own carburetor, right? You adjust the oxygen mi mixture until it's a that's pure a blue flame, the and it's bl bluer right in the middle. That's so you right. take, take your magnesium strip and put it in there, and it ignites, and then it just burns on its own. And it's right. bright, and it'll burn slowly up the strip until you burn yourself. All right. Um, so, and that's a bright, uh, that was like a, a sky blue color, if I remember 
yeah. uh, what color that was. But but anyhow, you you know people who are good at this and know all about it will find all combinations of things that burn at different rates at different colors, and the strength of the explosion will matter because that's how it tells you how big how 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 widespread the burning bits will will go right and i think almost everybody's favorite firework i don't want to speak for everybody but okay i'll speak for myself is the chrysanthemum you know the one where it explodes out and then right. it then it looks oh, like a just, willow tree just a, a willow tree right. as as it um as it uh, descends and s continues to sparkle. Yeah. So what a beautiful, I mean, if I had a, if I were a chemist, I, that's, that's probably the job I would want, inventing new kinds of fireworks. Yeah. See, there you go, America. You need to be, look, look how proud you should be of this country. We made war so beautiful. <laughs> we made war so <laughs> So, <laughs> and, <laughs> And and also with the finale, right? They always save the loudest. Yeah. You know, think about it. Everything until the finale is really just preamble. Right. Because you're there for the finale. That's what right? you want. Where, where they said ignite it all. You right. know. By the way, Macy's used to do this when my parents were kids from a barge in the Hudson River. Correct. Right. So nothing would burn. And then one year, a fire broke out on the barge and ignited all the fireworks, and everyone thought that that was the finale. Oh. Yeah, and yeah. so they canceled the fireworks for decades until yeah. they figured out, can we do until this safely? Until somebody said to them, don't worry, this happens to lots of guys. It's okay. <laughs> it happens all the time. That's right. all right. So in my lifetime, in my parents' lifetime, they had it and they got rid of it, and in my lifetime, they resurrected it. And so now we have fireworks once again in New York City. So anyhow, my hat's off to the chemical, uh, are they chemical engineers, just chemical they're kids who never grew up, who became adults and wanted to play with explosives and do it in a pretty way that have uh, graced the world all over, uh, not just domestically, of course, but around the world. And there you have it. A little bit of Fourth of July. Fantastic. That was Chuck, so that's much the fun. That's the end of our explainer. Oh, oh that was we great. Can, always good to have you here. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July to one and all Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Brits. Yeah, okay. that's right. Screw you, Britain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, real quick, we don't have time for this, but uh, in Trafalgar Square in London, yeah, that's like one of their biggest of squares. Yeah. They have Lord Nelson up on the top of a, a pedestal, you know, one of their great military, all right? In the corner in the back, in the back of the square is a statue of George Washington. I thought that was looking on at, at things. And I thought that right. was interesting because you know for sure we sure as hell do not have a statue of King George the, the sick or whatever. That, what number was he? Yeah, there's no way. No, no. The, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, we are not putting up a statue yeah. of King George. And if you look very closely at that statue of George Washington, he's giving the finger to Lord Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As always, keep looking up, especially at the fireworks. <laughs>